Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year everybody. Mm -hmm. Lovely night it is. <laughs> hey Eric, just because I know you love Miami Town, um, let's get a little slick up there. Just like, you know, it's, it's like ice up a little bit. My row is just fine, thank you, Gary. Like a call the meeting to order. Uh, will be here at six thirty. Uh, for the town board, town of Shane Aiken for January two thousand seventeen. Please rise for the pledge of allegiance. $4,776.30. Town clerk fees, $156.94. Cell tower, $877.75. Justice fees, $12,932.50. Planning fees, $300. Building permit fees, $1,405. Dog licenses, $33.50. Reimbursement for fuel, $174.40. Time Warner franchise fee, $17,325.19. Mortgage tax, $23,789.80. Highway interest, $7.71. Highway metal recycling, $264. Phoenician water interest, $0.12. Cents. 2016 Phoenician water payment, $7,026.07. For a grand total of $69,159.28. Supervisor Wilbur, um, we were saddened to hear of the passing of Woodstock Town Supervisor Jeremy Wilbur. Jeremy was a great colleague and is remembered as one of the best town supervisors in Woodstock's history. I always found him to be a pleasant and forthcoming, especially concerning issues that faced our rural communities. We'd like to extend our sorrow and prayers for his family all his friends in Woodstock and around the county. He will be sorely missed by all who knew him and will leave a lasting memory in our neighborhood community. Please join me in a moment of silence and respect for his passing. Tonight we are here to appoint and reappoint many of the positions that keep this town running day in and day out, and for all the boards that operate in the town. Many of these positions <coughs> are people that have continued to work for the town for many years. Of note are the rates many of these longtime employees are being paid. In reviewing rates for 2017, it has come to our attention that in the ambulance contract, drivers were due only due to receive $9 an hour, and EMTs were due $10.10 .10 per hour. Due to the recently enacted increase in minimum wage requirements imposed by New York State, we will have to increase the wages for these personnel. These rates were negotiated in good faith regarding the contract signed and agreed to several months ago. Immediately, we will have to increase, at the very least, the rate paid for the drivers to the state minimum of $9.70 per hour. <coughs> this will not affect the budget, mostly due to the fact that drivers are only scheduled minimally, and seeing how the minimum wage is due to increase over the next few years, we will need to review the wage scale as listed in the contract to better reflect future increase scheduled annually for the next several years. 
There are, no, there are no other employees making less than the new minimum wage rate, but in fairness, moving forward, we will have to address these increases, not only for the minimum wage employees, but for all the employees who have been working diligently for the town for a number of years. Phoenician Water, in a bit of good news, and after a lengthy environmental review, the state has accepted our envir environmental review following a necessary archaeological investigation in the areas to be disturbed. The engineers have started working toward drawing up detailed specifications in order for us to go out to bid for many of this, much of this long awaited work. We hope to be moving toward going out for bids within the next two months. If all goes well, we should be able to complete the work associated with this $450,000 grant by the end of the year. And our next regular meeting is scheduled for Monday, February 6, 2017 at 7 p.m. That will go on to committee reports. And um, yeah, would you mind reading the ambulance report since um, Chief Railroad is not here? Well, the other thing is uh, the tax bills were mailed out this past Friday. Don't kill the messenger. And um, if you didn't get your bill, don't get your bill by the end of this week. It was cool. If you remember two years ago, we lost like two flats of mail at the Newburgh office somehow. Oh. Rick, <laughs> it won't happen again. I promise you. We'll get your bill to you. So um, the mail's been pretty good lately. They, they've settled down and everything seems to be going okay. But if you don't get it, give us a call. Also, if you haven't done it yet, sign up for our emergency alert system, which seems to work pretty well. And even if you don't have a computer, you can get a call on your landline phone. And you can give me a call, and I'll sign you up at uh, 688-5004. But if you do go online, the app is on our website, shandakin.us forward slash alerts. That's it, right? Looks good, right, Jack? Right. There you go. That's it. Thank you. Okay, the ambulance report. Good evening, Supervisor Stanley, members of the board, and town residents. I would like to start off by saying Happy New Year on behalf of the staff at Shandakin Ambulance. 2016 brought many changes for Shandakin Ambulance, including the changing of the guards, so to speak. I would like to commend my staff on the hard work and commitment that they showed during all the changes that have happened over the past year. As 2017 starts, there are also many things that are happening for the agency. One of the biggest being the transition to a new charting software that is used to document the care and treatments that are provided to patients on every call. It is a very positive change, and my hopes are to make the hard work that everybody puts in on the, on the day to day operations a little easier. <coughs> also, I'm looking forward to working with the town and all my staff as I enter my first of many full years as the chief of the ambulance. As always, I hope everyone has a safe and healthy start to the new year. Chief Story. I've got two reports for you tonight. One's the December, and that's uh, 192 calls for service with the uh, nine arrests and 15 summons issued, and then the year end reports there as well. That's uh, 2,313 calls for service for the year, as well as 371 summons issued and 83 arrests. Uh, our new officers are doing well. Officer Lima is uh, field training, is doing excellent, and uh, Officer Parcher starts the academy on Saturday, so we're looking uh, forward. That's the only thing that changes. We'll have to change the reads tonight, Saturday. Nice, Saturday. So, right. Thank you, Chief. Be sure. I think you're going to be Things have been very calm. According to Rick, there's no, there are no current issues. Good news from you, which is really nice. And hopefully, we can get it done as planned. It would be great. Uh, much needed improvement. Next meeting is on the 18th at 6.30 in the library. Any questions? Either oh, ask me or Rick. Uh, Rick's got a comment. I think I brought up the, I forgot, uh, yeah. that sign uh, ha yeah. ha has to come down. They don't want it over there. Yes, I understand. Um, By the know. bridge? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I will speak to Eric about taking the sign down. Again, it has to be up for a year on the USDA guidelines. 
So that'll come down this month. Yeah. Okay. It's done. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Eric, you got to take a sign down. <laughs> you told me about it last week. <laughs> um, yeah. I know water. You have no report. Museum. Yeah. Short sweep. Uh, we had 31 visitors in November and 27 in December. And that is actually the double of the numbers that we had last year for the same two months. Very good. So we're doing okay. Uh, there are some visitors. We had the Dreamcatcher workshop, and not everybody signed the, the book. So it was more than that. But, but names, we count the names that signed the book. We just don't know the people that, that didn't sign. Uh, we had a Dreamcatcher workshop, and it was a success. And a good time was uh, enjoyed by all. We are presently working on a postcard show for President's Weekend in February. Uh, there's a lady that has a, a, a screen and, and digital stuff that can show the postcards from around the old postcards from the town of Shandale. So we'll get the word out to Joyce and, and uh, she can and, uh, get the word out to the rest of the town. The other thing is Robin at the Nest Lake said she'd sell those pins. I can't the, the I love Shandake pins. Oh, yeah. That Robin Kirk's going to sell those at the nest egg uh, for three dollars at that siege, and it'll benefit the museum. Oh, great. So they'll be available yeah, we, this week there. Yeah. We're talking about we're getting I love I part Shandaken pins that you can put on your shirt or whatever, and there's a discussion about uh, the various hamlets. I don't think there's going to be too many people that want to look. I love Alvaria, but there's probably going to be a lot that will. I love Phoenicia, you know. So we'll, we'll work it out. But uh, right now, it's I love Shea Bacon, and it's going to be at the next day. It's going to sell the next day in, in Finnish. Uh, the telephone problem that we've had for months up in the uh, museum has been corrected. Uh, anybody that has problems with the New York or the telephone, you need to call. And my, my brother in law, uh, is the one who told me he's an engineer for the for Verizon, and you need to call the Public Service Commission. That is who you need to call. You call them, and the hits the fan, and they do their job. So that's who you need to call the New York State Public Service Commission to get your phone taken care of if you have a problem. Uh, and we have been contacted by an organization, the OCI High School yearbook project. Uh, they are prisoners, uh, and uh, it's an organization that copies the year, school high school yearbooks or, or elementary school yearbooks, and they put them on DVDs. So we're in the process of uh, checking that out and, and see what we can get for the, for the various schools here within the town. And that's where we stand right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Recreation, board. Things are pretty quiet in the parks. Um, we, uh, Carol Irvin and I'm going to blank on it. Dylan, do you remember that you recommended Dylan? Dylan Callahan. Helped us to plant 250 daffodil bulbs in uh, Simpson Mini Park. So in the springtime, that should be really pretty welcome. Um, they're staged to come out over a period of six weeks. Um, otherwise, so much of my board is out of town, a place warm where I hope to be soon. <laughs> <laughs> that will move on to public comments and resolutions. This will be quiet. Public comments and resolutions. Phase just in time. Perfect time. There we go. <laughs> so with that, um, we'll kick off the resolutions and uh, we'll, I'll start them and we'll go around from here. Okay, what do you want? We'll go. Let's wait if you practice. Resolution number one, seven, there's 17, rules of procedure. Whereas section 63, 63 of the New York State Town Law provides that the Town Board may determine the rules of its procedures, therefore be resolved that the following rules of procedure for regular Town Board meetings be adopted. The Town Supervisor as Chair of the Town Board shall call meetings of the Town Board 
to order and shall be the presiding officer or chair of the meeting, and as such shall officiate, maintain order and decorum, and permit public participation in an orderly manner and in accordance with the rules stated below. One, pledge. Call to order shall be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Two, roll call. The chair shall request roll call of the town board members by the town clerk, and after determining that a quorum exists, the town supervisor shall declare the meeting open. The town supervisor shall read the agenda, if not already published and distributed, and proceed to the business of the town at hand. Excuse me. Minutes. At each meeting, following the new town board's January special organizational meeting, the chair shall provide opportunity for the town board to review the minutes of the previous meeting of the town board. Thereafter, the chair shall entertain a motion to approve the minutes as presented or to amend. Four, correspondence. The chair shall first call for acknowledgement and summary of any petitions or written communications received by the town board. Copies shall be given to the town clerk for reporting into the minutes. Five, committee reports. The chair shall recognize committee chairman for the committee's report. Six, public participation. The public will be invited to comment as requested on items appearing in the public agenda, expressing any views, opinions, requests, recommendations, or questions to the board to address and or take under advisement in its deliberations. A maximum time limit of 30 minutes. The public is requested to be brief with their comments. Seven, conduct new business. The supervisor's fiscal report shall be the first order of new business and shall set forth monies <coughs> received through the town clerk's office and other sources and disbursement of public monies. The chair shall entertain motions to approve the supervisor's fiscal report and to approve all necessary disbursements of public monies through authorized fund accounts. All actions of the town board concerning the supervisor's fiscal report shall be by motion. Resolutions. For its deliberations on new matters of town business, the town board will work from the written agenda distributed to the board members in advance, posted on the town bulletin board, and distributed at board meetings to the public. Formal actions of the town board must be authorized by motion or resolution of the board. No motion or resolution shall be brought to a vote unless it has been presented to all members of the town board at least 48 hours prior to the opening of the meeting and on the town website. In emergency circumstances, however, all of the above requirements may be waived by vote of a majority of the town board present, provided there is a quorum. C, every motion or resolution must be seconded before discussion of the town board or the supervisor calls for a vote. All motions and resolutions shall be recorded in their entirety in the minutes of the town board meeting. As a member of the town board, the supervisor may offer or second motions and resolutions. D, town board members must recuse themselves from participation in discussion or voting on matters that involve a conflict of interest and must place in the minutes their reasons for recusal Abstention from a vote shall only be permitted for reasons of conflict of interest and not for political considerations. Eight, public participation. The board recognizes the value of public participation but reminds the public that it is a privilege. Please address the board with respect and civility. Nine, adjournment. Following resolutions and open agenda period, the town board meeting shall be adjourned by motion in memory of residents deceased. If the above rules of procedure should at any time be in conflict with statutory law, then statutory law prevails. I move its adoption. I'll second that. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Discotic? Yes. Board Member Loy? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. The President? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Resolution 2 17. Meeting dates. Whereas under Section 62 of the Town Law, the Town Board shall mm -hmm. adopt a resolution determining the time and place it should hold its regular meeting. Therefore, be it resolved that the regular meetings of the town board be held the first Monday of the month, unless noted, in the town of hall of Shendake, New York, on the following dates during the year 2017. January 3rd, 6 p.m., February 6th, 7 p.m., March 6th, 7 p.m., April 3rd, 7 p.m., May 1st, 7 p.m., June 5th, 7 p.m., July 10th, 7 p.m., second Monday, August 7th, 7 p.m., September 11th, 7 p.m., second Monday, October 2nd, 2nd, 7 p.m., November 8th, 7 p.m., 2nd Wednesday, December 4th, 7 p.m. I move this adoption. The second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Discali? Yes. Board Member Loy? Yes. Board Member Ford? Yes. The President? Yes. Resolution 317, Town Depository. Whereas, under Section 64, Subdivision 1 of the Town Law, the Town Board should adopt the resolution designating a bank or banks or trust company in which all town officials shall deposit all monies coming into their hands by virtue of their offices. Therefore, be it resolved that Key Bank of New York and Community Bank NA be and hereby are designated as the 
repositories for the time of Shandaken for the fiscal year 2017 and moves into adoption. I'll second. Board <coughs> member Alvin? Yes. Board member Sarge? Yes. Malloy? Yes. Four? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. That's okay. Resolution 417. Under, whereas under subdivision 64, subdivision 11 of the town law, the town board should adopt resolution designating the official town newspaper. Therefore, be it resolved that the Daily Freeman be and is hereby is officially newspaper for the town of Shandaken for the year 2017. And I move this back. I'll second Board member Alvin? Yes. Board member Lisa Klein? Yes. Board member Boyd? Yes. Board member Swartz? Yes. Supervisor Yes. Resolution 517, mileage allowance. Whereas under section 12, notes of decision 32 of the town law, a town officer is entitled to be paid a mileage allowance fixed by the town board. Therefore, it be resolved that all town officers and employees be paid <coughs> the IRS mileage rate of 0 0.535 cents per mile when discharging their duties as town officials. And I move to adoption. I'll second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Desquad? Yes. Board Member Malloy? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Resolution 617. Was the town of Shandaken would like to enter into an agreement with Georgiana Millman to lease the parking lot adjacent to the Phoenician Pharmacy in Phoenician for the, sum, Phoenician for the sum of $1 for the fiscal year 2017. Therefore, be resolved that the town board approves this agreement for the fiscal year 2017 and all terms agreed upon and with its adoption. I second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Desquad? Yes. Board Member Malloy? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Who's right there? Yes. Resolution 7-17. Expenses for the Association of Towns <coughs> meeting. Whereas under Section 102, Notes of Decision 10 of the Town Law, towns may incur obligations for compensation of town officers. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board hereby authorizes the payment of ex expenses incurred to all town officers attending the annual meeting of the Association of Towns in the amount not to exceed $1,000 each, with $200 in advance with all expenses to be supported by voucher and receipts. And be it further resolved that in the case of the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Planning Board, a maximum of three will be allowed to attend. I move this adoption. I'll second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Disciplin? Yes. Board Member Moy? Yes. Board Member Swartz? Yes. Board Member Brazil? Yes. Resolution 8-17, American Legion and Veterans of Foreign Wars. Whereas the annual budget approved by the Town Board provides monies for patriotic observations and veteran organizations, and whereas it has been the procedure to pay the, these monies to the American Legion and the Veterans of Foreign Wars for said purposes. Therefore, be it resolved that the sum of $1,500 each be and hereby is appropriated for rent of rooms and patriotic observations for each of the organizations for the year 2017 and move its adoption. A second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Disclavani? Yes. Board Member Malloy? I refuse no. myself. No. You voted on the budget. It's fine. Oh, okay. If you're all veterans, yes. it wouldn't go through. Okay. Please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Board Member Storm? Oh, yes. Uh, Supervisor Stalin? Yes. Board Member Binney did that? That's true. Right. <laughs> Resolution 917, a program for the aging senior nutrition program. Whereas the annual budget approved by the town board provides monies for the program for the aging and the senior nutrition program, therefore be it resolved that the sum of $2,000 be and is hereby appropriated for the program for the aging, and be it further resolved that the sum of $2,000 be and hereby is appropriated for the senior nutrition program. And I move its adoption. I'll second that. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Desiccati? Yes. Board Member Moy? Yes. Board Member Storms? Yes. The President? Yes. Resolution 1017, attorneys for the town, whereas the town board may, pursuant to town law, section 20, subdivision 25, employ an attorney to give it such professional service and legal counsel. Therefore, be resolved that the supervisor be empowered to utilize the services of Keller, Keller, and Avian, Javian, as general counsel of the town board, Greenwald and Dowtry, LLP, as Labor Councils, and Jacobowitz and Gubitz, LLP, as Zoning and Planning Council. 
And I move it to the option. Second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Lisa Yes. Board Member Moy? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Board Yes. Resolution 1117, Town Auditor, whereas the Town Board appoints all employees and officers of the Town, pursuant to Section 20 of the Town Law. Therefore, be it resolved that the firm of Sickler, Torchia, Allen, and Churchill be in hereby as reappointed Town Auditors and Accountants at an allowance of up to $20,000 as allocated in the 2017 budget and move its adoption. I'll second. Board Member Alba? Yes. Board Member Disciplani? Yes. Board Member Malloy? Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. Yes. Board Member Storm? Yes. <coughs> Resolution 12-17, salaries. Whereas under Section 27 of the Town Law, the Town Board shall fix the salaries and expenses of elected officials for the Town. Therefore, be it resolved that the annual salaries of said officers be and hereby are fixed and determined for the year 2017 and shall be as follows. Supervisor, Robert A. Stanley, $36,000. Councilman, Gail Alba, $9,000. Peter D. D. Scafani. D. Scafani, $9,000. Timothy Malloy, $9,000. Faye Storms, $9,000. Highway Superintendent Eric Hoffmeister, $50,000. Clerk Collector Joyce Grant, $36,000. Assessor Chairman Peter DeMolica, $34,500. Assessor Dave Channon, $5,500. Janet Pugelwitz, $5,500, Justice Tom Pousset, $18,750, and Michael Miranda, $18,750. My move is adoption. Second. Board Member Elwood? Yes. Board Member Disciplani? Yes. Board Member